what is a staircase? A staircase is defined as a set of steps from one floor to another floor or a combination of the riser and treads to make easy transportation from one floor to another floor in a building. Requirements of good stairs 1. Width of stair, it should not be less than 1 meter. 2. Length of flight, the number of steps in a single flight should not be more than 12 and should not be less than 3 steps. 3. Pitch of the stair, it should be between 25 degrees to 40 degrees. 4. Width of landing. The width of the landing should be always greater than the width of a stair. 5. Winders or kite steps. To build a safe and easy staircase, winders should be avoided, but if necessary, they may be provided at the lower end of the flight. 6. Handrails. They should be 0.75 to 0.85 meters in height from the top of the respective step or landing. 7. Step proportions. The size of the rise and tread in a stair should be kept uniform throughout the whole stair. 8. Headroom. The distance between the tread and soffit of the flight immediately above it should not be less than 2.1 to 2.3 meters. If it is short, one may get injured by colliding with it. The following proportions are recommended. Generally, riser 150 to 200 millimeters, tread 250 to 300 millimeters. Residential buildings, tread 250 millimeters, riser 160 millimeters. Public buildings, tread 300 millimeters, riser 150 millimeters. Industrial buildings, railway stations, etc., tread 250 to 300 millimeters, riser 150 to 190 millimeters. The above rules act as a guide, but the actual sizes depend upon the availability of space while planning stairs practical field. Example. Take the example of a home construction project where a staircase with a 3-meter floor height has to be built. It has a 15-centimeter high riser, a 25-centimeter wide tread, and a 1-meter wide flight. The first flight is 2.1 meters high above the ground. Given data, height of floor equals 3 meters. First flight height equals 2.1 meters. Flight width equals 1 meter. Riser equals 0.15 meters. Tread equals 0.25 meters. 1. The first flight. Number of risers equals height of flight divided by height of riser. Equals 2.1 divided by 0.15 equals 14 numbers. Number of treads equals numbers of risers minus 1. Equals 14 minus 1 equals 13 numbers. The total length needed for all treads equals 13 times 0.25 equals 3.25 meters. 2. The second flight. The second flight's height equals floor height minus first flight height equals 3 minus 2.1 equals 0.9 meters. Number of risers equals height of flight over height of riser equals 0.9 divided by 0.15 equals 6 numbers. Numbers of treads equals numbers of risers minus 1 equals 6 minus 1 equals 5 numbers. The total length needed for all treads equals 5 times 0.25 equals 1.25 meters. The spacing between flights must be 0.11 to 0.15 meters, and we take 0.12 meters. The width of the stair landing slab will be at least 1.0 meters for the walkover on the staircase, and we take 1.0 meter. Total length required for stair equals total tread length of flight 1 plus width of landing equals 3.25 plus 1.0 equals 4.25 meters. Total width required for stair equals width of flight 1 plus width of flight 2 plus spacing between two flights equals 1.0 plus 1.0 plus 0.12 equals 2.12 meters. Thank you very much for watching. Please do make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video. That way you aren't missing out on any of the videos I upload. Also, I would very much appreciate it. If you gave the video a thumbs up, thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed that and it has gotten some way to help you. I sincerely hope you understand how to find the length and width of the staircase. Thank you so much, have a great day.